guys welcome back to a new vlog welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is blake i just made a matcha i've been obsessed with matcha lately in my little bee cup that i'm obsessed with and i'm so sad that anthropology doesn't make this one anymore or at least i've not seen it on there in forever and this cute little flower straw adorable i cannot believe i'm saying this again but i am already packing up <laughs> to move out of this apartment. I feel like I just moved in. I moved in nine months ago. I know some of you guys are gonna think I'm crazy for moving out already. So there's not like a crazy dramatic reason why I'm moving. I love this apartment. It is so stunning. This was my first, like I did live on my own in a studio before this, but this felt like my first like real, real adult apartment. Like had an actual bedroom, my little studio before. I loved when I had it, but it just didn't feel like like home and this place did. So I really love it here, but I started realizing like halfway through my lease that there were just some things that I kind of wanted that weren't exactly deal breakers, but for what I'm paying, I would like to have them like an in-unit washer dryer, maybe just a little more space, an updated bathroom, a little bit of a bigger kitchen because I love to cook. I was very open to staying here and renewing this lease, but I was also very open to signing a new lease somewhere else. So me and my boyfriend are, we signed a place together. Um, we just kind of like kept our options open and started looking pretty early. The Boston rental market is so competitive. You really have to start looking early and then just like jump on things and you see them. So. We started touring just to see what was out there and didn't love a couple of the places, but then we were obsessed with this one place we saw that was available three months before my lease was up, but we were so in love with it. It's over twice as big as this one. It's huge. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. I'll film an empty apartment tour. I think we're going there later this week to get the keys and we're not moving in until a week from today. So. I'm so excited, but it's a lot bigger than this. Um, we each have an office space, which is just crazy. And the, for the price, so we could not pass it up. It, for the price and how much bigger it was than this, like it, we, it did not make sense to not move into it. So I asked my current landlord if I could get a sublet. She said no, <laughs> but she said if I could find someone, if we could find someone else to um, move in for the same price um on whatever date i wanted to move out and she was more than happy to end my lease on that day so her broker relisted it and within a couple of days there were so many people that came to tour it there were multiple open houses the person who ended up signing for it was someone that i actually met on instagram which is so funny so yeah someone else re-signed within a couple of days and it was just like so easy and seamless and painless it worked out so well like it just was meant to be. <laughs> so I am moving. I know that you guys are gonna think I'm crazy and I know how insane it is to move. I'm like someone who moves every year. I think I've moved every year since I graduated college. And I know that I'm throwing away that broker's fee. I know it's, <laughs> it's, I know it's rough, but I'm hoping that I stay in this place. My plan is to stay in this next place for like at least a couple years because it has everything that we were looking for. So I'm so excited. I have a lot of packing to do though. I took down the curtains yesterday. I took down the candles. I emptied that bookshelf. It's just kind of a mess. are out this one too um, but John made a very valid point and said why are you emptying the closets when you don't have boxes to put them in yet and <laughs> my answer is I have no idea good morning it is the next day I'm starting my day with some AG1 like I do 
making some tea. I have a lot more packing to do today. I'll show you the living room in a second. It is scary. But yeah, I made a little bit of progress. Today we are going to the top of the Prudential Center. If you guys live in Boston, you've I don't even know when it closed, the top of the hub and the restaurant at the top of the Prudential Center. I think it closed like years ago, two, three years ago, and I don't think there's been anything up there since. I think it's opening June 15th, mid-June. They are finally opening something up there. It's um, an observatory on the top three floors. My kettle is loud. <laughs> anyway. They are finally opening something up there. It's a three, it's the top three floors of the Prudential Center and it's a full observatory, like a full open air roof deck. There's, I think it's something about like immersive exhibits. There's, a, I think there's two dining attractions. I don't know if those are restaurants, bars. Um, I got like a brief summary. So we're going to check it out today to see it before it opens. I believe my friend Kristen is going as well. So I'm very excited. I'm excited that something is finally going in there. Even though I live right around the corner from there right now and I am moving in less than a week. These are the proteins that I used for my overnight oats. I love the brand Sprout Living. I also like Garden of Life. I, I like both of them. I've been like using this more though for the last like couple years. So I might like this one a little more, but I love them both. This is their Epic Protein. This one is their Pro Collagen. So I have two types of overnight oats in here. I have a vanilla one and then a like raspberry flavored one, which is this. So I have both of those in here that I use for overnight oats and then just some blueberries, hemp seeds. There's chia seeds in here and agave. This is what we're working with. <laughs> it is so messy. I have a lot to do, but that's what this week is for. I emptied my whole closet yesterday with no plan of where to put the clothes. <laughs> I have like a few boxes full of them in some suitcases, but I have a lot left that I don't, I have like little boxes, but I don't want to fill them up with clothes. Like I feel like I need to fill those up with like dishes and stuff. So I just have a mountain of clothes on my couch that is waiting for me to get a big box to put them in. think I can on my own. This table is the heaviest thing ever. It's from Lulu in Georgia. My coffee table is also from them. Heaviest pieces of furniture ever. Like, I can just barely lift it up and I need to get it onto its back. And I just feel like doing that on my own is not going to end well. I feel like I'm going to break it or break myself. So, I'm going to move it out of the way at least. I'm getting very overwhelmed with everything surrounding my couch because <laughs> I still want to like try to enjoy my last week here. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to try to move this and put everything else over here so that it's like out of my way. So that's what I'm going to do now. Fingers crossed. I love unpacking. I mean like at first it's a little daunting with a million boxes sitting in a new place that you have to deal with. It's so much more fun to unpack and like see what your furniture looks like in a new space than it is to pack up everything you own and be sad. <laughs> All right. Oh, I knew. <laughs> I knew this was too good to be true. Like, you're kidding. boxes um under my bed is like full of crap 
I have a lot of stuff to do. So today is my day that I am, I'm just making myself spend hours packing. We are going to the apartment at the end of this week to get the keys. We don't move in until next Monday. The people who live there now are the people who own it. Um, and they got a new place. So they are moving out of this place that they bought and renting it out. So it's not like a tenant is there now that has until like the end of May. Um, the landlord is moving to there. I think they've already moved there. So it's being cleaned now and repainted and all that stuff. So it's very nice that we have an overlap. So we're moving like the last week of the month and we have some time, which is so nice, but I'm so excited to go get the keys. I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour. I can't wait to show you guys it. We just took the, um, the dining table apart. John just left to go like get his hair cut and run some errands and stuff, but we took the dining table legs off. I need to take the bed apart. I'm gonna wait till he's back to do that, but yeah. Lots of progress. Okay, cue packing montage. <laughs> is open. I'll try it on. I've been wanting a pair of overalls. These feel so nice. I've been wanting a pair of overalls just to like, I don't know, on those days where you're just wearing a casual outfit in the summer, I'm always just throwing on like denim shorts and a tank top, like on days where I'm like cleaning the apartment or like yada yada, whatever. But I felt like I just needed some cute overalls to wear in those scenarios. <laughs> So I got these. I love this. We know I love an open back. If I had a penny for every time I said that, I would be a millionaire. This is so adorable. It's comfy. How adorable. Here they are. The back is a low V. I feel like I could just like wear these when I'm cleaning or running errands, like grocery shopping, going to a farmer's market. I think they're cute. I like them. That's all I ordered. Just two things. Okay, I'm gonna get back to packing. I have Love Island on right now while I am packing. I like need things in the background if I'm doing something mindless. I can't just be in silence. And I feel like I love music when I work out, but for things like this, if I'm like cleaning or packing, I love to just listen to TV in the background. I don't know why. I, or like YouTube videos or podcasts and I like to hear people just talking. I don't know. So I'm watching Love Island. Something mindless that I don't need to know what's happening. It's Love Island US. I'm on season one. I couldn't tell you what anyone's names are. It's really just on the background. And it's so stupid, but I also think it's entertaining. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep these on. These are so cute. I should take this off. See you later. <laughs> I don't even know how to act right now. I am so excited. We just got here. We just got our keys. We obviously loved this place, which is why we signed for it when we like saw it with 
um, the landlord's furniture in it, but when you see it empty and can envision your own stuff in it, I think John just got back. It's just like, I don't know, it's crazy. So I'm so excited we just got here. I'm gonna give you guys a little empty apartment tour. I'm vlogging. <laughs> You walk in, you come up these steps, and right in front of us is the laundry. A coat closet. Dun, 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 dun. Over here is the kitchen, which I think is my favorite part of the entire apartment. It's so beautiful. Here's from this view. Little dining area. We have the living room, a little mantle. I'm gonna put the couch right there. TV above the mantle. I love that the kitchen and living room are a little bit separated. We have this little built-in shelving thing. They had a desk under it, but we're not gonna have a desk there, so I think we're gonna remove these two pieces and just have it be like a little bookshelf. Okay, upstairs we go. I can't believe we have two floors. John's office, closet. Here's the guest bath, I guess you could say. We have a bathtub. Here's my office. I have another closet in here. Here's the bedroom. Here's our closet. You have no idea how excited I am for this. Our primary bathroom. <laughs> the shower. I love the staircase. It really makes it feel like a home. I'm gonna get to measuring so we can order some things. Then we're gonna go to Home Depot to get some last boxes for packing. And yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. I like cannot even believe this. I can't even believe it. It's so much bigger than my current place. Like over twice the square footage. Probably like two and a half times the square footage. So it feels very, very, very nice to have more space. We just brought some stuff over. We don't have movers until tomorrow to bring over like all the furniture and all the big stuff but we just brought over like some little stuff to get started so it's not so overwhelming tomorrow. And my mom is here to help, so yeah. I ordered a bunch of little um, drawer organizers because we have so much storage. Also some hooks for the shower curtain rod and the guest bed. to 
put this stuff away, head back to the old apartment. I'm pretty much all packed up, but we just have to take apart the bed later and like spackle a few more holes and clean. And then tomorrow we have the movers. So I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow and do like a proper moving vlog. So I'm gonna end this one here, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new apartment. I'm very excited, so I just, I'm excited to be vlogging it and sharing it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next moving vlog. Bye.